Hello, this is Hawk Bean, and today we are going to Tumblr. R slash Tumblr. To tumble! Let's get right into this. I love tumbling. Anyway. The flesh petrifies, the machine rusts, and the divine corrupts, and so the rot made supreme. Flesh percent, divine percent, machine percent, the rot consumes us all. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Lord, the peasants are so loud today. Pheasants! Pheasants! The birds! Classist typo. You mean classist typo as in discriminating? I can't read. As discriminating against poor people and not classes as the type of academic who studies antiquity in Southern Europe. Academia typo. <laughs> Freaking nerds. You're doing what to the nerds? Sex misinterpretation. What the fuck is happening here? I believe this post is on fire. Don't worry, guys. I got the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Fire post. What do you mean the post is on fire? The only reason I don't come here every day. Now, we go to- ow, my eyes. We're gonna read a story as soon as it's just loaded in. And done hurting my eyes. Really? You just really went off with these specific ass words. Nick Neck has absolutely nothing on Chuck. Uh, complain wishes she was as Kvet Edge, Edge Schlepp, Chitspa, Chitspa, and so on. Impeccable designs. 10 out of 10. I think the difference is that none of these words have the negative energy that the English equivalent in do. A knick-knack is a useless piece of clutter. A truck uh, okay, is a is an adorable souvenir. What? what? How is knick-knack not also an adorable souvenir? I'm American. I should know oh, 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 the English is negative energy or whatever, but I don't. I don't see the negative energy that you have. Maybe stop being so British. If you complain, you are annoying and rude. No, you're just venting. But if you covet, you are at worst justifiably venting and at best commiserating over a shared pain that needs to be pointed out. Schlepping is sort of in the Kvetch area, where it expresses pain in a way that doesn't imply that you did something ridiculously onerous the way that Shrek does, but also still acknowledges the annoyance and difficulty of the task. Schutzpa is hard to translate because it's somewhere between stubbornness, rudeness, and disrespect. 
But none of those words had negative uh, connotation. Here's the thing. First of all, I know I am getting these all wrong. I'm quite sure I am. And if I'm not, then you have to subscribe. Even if you don't like me, subscribe. Because I just, because I accidentally somehow pronounce these words correct without looking them up in a pronounced dictionary or whatever. Honestly, I think, think a big part of this is cultural. These words come out of a culture where argument and complaint are encouraged and considered to be a regular and healthy part of social interaction. And English was historically been spoken with a more inherently negative view of complaint and argument. The equivalent words have built in negative associations that don't exist for the Yiddish words. Wait. Complaining and arguing is bad? That's all we do! Yes, that's it. I think you hit the nail on the head. Jews have to look over with everyone, including God. <sighs> Very good and interesting post. But I got so distracted by a line comparing Schlepp to Trek because all I could think was Star Schlepp. Yeah, that's what Spock was doing. But wait, please tell me if I got those wrong. I'm quite sure I might have. <sighs> Writing tip if you press buttons on a keyboard, Letters will appear on the screen, and with that power, you can do anything. Anything, you say? Hmm. I think it was cruel to give Lightning McQueen a foot fetish, as he lives in a world where all feet are wheels. He has nothing. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you, I think. Please. Go back to the woodwork where you came from. What the? The girl that sits with me was complaining about another girl because she likes the same band as her, but doesn't dress like it. So obviously she doesn't really listen to them. How do you dress like the music you listen to? As an Imagine Dragons fan, I have never seen not in a full dragon costume. As an Arctic fa Monkeys fan, this is me. It's just a little monkey in a sweatshirt. It's actually really cute. <sighs> I found an old USC USB in the basement today. So, should I see if anything's on it? Booty. Oh, we're off to a good start. 11.7 gigabytes free of 15.2 gigabytes. These were the only two pictures on it, like 8 folders deep. Wait, two pictures? And it took up like 4 gigabytes? That's ridiculous. Anyone knew, know Gallifreyan? Also, there were a bunch of ancient, okay, from 2014 SCP games on it, and a Game Boy emulator, and a copy of the game Lifehouse based off. The concept album um, The Who tried to write in the 70s, but Pete Townsend got too lost in the sauce or whatever and had a mental breakdown and never finished it. Well, my older... Brother has some terrible news for you. 
Here's what he decoded. Look at the booty. Show them the booty. Give them the booty. I want the booty. Back up the booty. I need the booty. I like the booty. Oh, what a booty. I am terribly sorry. Thank you for your translation. Also, I don't know how to feel about this, but based on the name of the USB, I can't say I'm surprised. This is the polar opposite of a creepypasta. Goofy pasta. Legit goofy pasta. Or even silly spaghetti. Spring. Dog. 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 Cerberus. Do you remember who were actually scared of this thing? I know everyone just loves it. Dying. <laughs> that means you'll get to meet him soon. Oh my goodness, I am going to pet that dog. Cerberus will not be able to handle this. Hang on, I have to pause here. Look out, there's bugs! Other than that, we should be fine. Okay, let's see. Come on, Red, do your thing. Whenever the hell it feels like it. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Look at it. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. It is redding it. That is amazing. It is so red. It is so red. <sighs> I bet taking a screenshot and cropping out everything except for this one freaking tab would be hilarious out of context. So I had a little thought while I was waiting for this thing to load. The thing about adulthood is when someone says something extremely rude to you, you can either turn the other cheek or probably and early correct them. The third option is to tell them, Say that again, I'll bite you. And everyone sort of there obviously laughs and tries to move on from your little joke. Which is why I think it's very important that when they do say it again, you follow through. Nobody actually expects you to bite them. We should be biting more. Also, if you are with the county health department, do not read this post. What? What? String identified. T T G A T A T A T G T T C A T T T T C C A A and C C T T T T T T A T A T A G A apostrophe T quotes and T A G A A T T T T dot C T T apostrophe T A T T A T T A T A G A T G A C T A C T T T T dot T G dot A apostrophe T T C T A T A T T T A T T Why the hell did I actually read that? Closest match Coli Coitus Honor and is Genome Assembly Scaffold Scaffold 117 Common name Biting Midge Tumblr genetics. Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know that isn't the first or the first letter of every word. No, I don't know what the fuck this was about. Did they just call her a bug? Is that what just happened? Whew. 
<sighs> it's act. It's not actually possible to bully TV Trove users enough. Hates reading. Insufferable imbecile. Death. In effect. Ineffectual death threats. <laughs> Freaking get a life. <laughs> oh, we're doing some Mario posts now. Let's go. We are so winning. We are doing some Mario posts. We are jumping into the Wahoo Mario. I can't, I can't wait. Mario, you are going to die. From Mario. Mario, I don't think this is, is ha uh, how and on hate works. You're not supposed to decide it. <laughs> Mario, I'm your biggest fan. I have all your merchandise. I've been playing a video game since the 1970s. I would give to thee everything in my kingdom if it wouldn't cause so many tax problems for you. I have told God about you, and now he wears a replica of your hat to cons. Happy Mario oh day, my friend. May the forces be with you, and also... Oh, with you. The Pope. Thank you all very much, Pope. We are very excited for the Pope of Mobile DLC that will be included in Mario Kart 8 Double Dash Deluxe 2. Please enjoy the sneak free preview. Please help us, we're so moldy. How on earth did Mario, Peach, and Yoshi get so moldy? We are so hungry, ate all the cotton candy inside the castle walls. We are never clean back there. Give us a hug right now. Notice do not eat fiberglass. Can you do a pose of you killing someone with a rock? You are asking me to take a lie! That is a mess of it, it's not! I am not doing this! Hiding something behind my back. You should be really ashamed of yourself! Please please straight not to fall backwards. You should turn around! And maybe crouch down to my height level! And then close your eyes in a penance for uh, your actions! I'm not going to hear anyone say that my Italian accent is bad. I have plenty of the Italian in me. <laughs> Happy Mario Day, Mario. You did anything fun today? Oh, I'm rolling on the ground. Whee! Woohoo! I'm rolling. Oh my god. Today, hey, I am. I don't play Mario Super, 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 Super Baseball for the GameCube. <sighs> every single, every single time you you will forget it by some twist. I come in. I ask. I asked for Ortiz Gordita, a Crunch Fox with a medium and blah 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 uh, uh, blast. I, I asked for Ortiz Gordita, chips and Dr. Cheese, and a cinnamon twist, and every time the cinnamon twists are missing. They cost a buck nineteen, and it's not worth complaining about it, but I have been going to Taco Bell for years. This is the only Taco Bell. Oh, in the Imagine Kingdom, they aren't even uh, that good. Why is there a talk about the Mushroom Kingdom? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? I'm just smoking a fat at blood and I'm talking a lot. I'm traffic in a puppy. 
warning, I do not condone the use of drugs. I don't mind. I don't care. But I, I, I have to say I can't condone it. You know. It's easy to my I get my butt about it. Sometimes I think I see something out of the corner by I I in a castle. Something that looks like me. But there's a no Latico following him. I've never heard such labored breathing. <laughs> Imagine if you had Mario's move set. You'd be out of breath in like five minutes. This is gonna be something ominous, but I changed my mind. This is real Mario would be freaking tired. Yeah. Squishing, squashing, squashing. There's something you cannot be helping. Why does Versus Peach have a room in her castle? With four windows, no auction, and no exits. Well, it's not that scary when you are. I remember, it's a secret aquarium. It's for the fishies. Mario's not scared today. Today. How many of these are there? As an anti safety precaution, we've decided to place 10 of these randomly along the Grand Canyon. I don't know what those are, but I have a feeling they will just flip you back into the air. Oh, no, I actually have to zoom in for this one. Hmm. And this one actually has to be the last one. Whew. The Italian accent actually gets to me, doesn't it? And so Mario takes the forward, the angle at which Mario jumps out of the water and reflects the camera when he walks through sliding doors. Leads to both stories in the game not being in areas where water is found, this is very difficult to observe and practice. The footage shows one way to see this, if Mario tilts back as far as possible in the water in the basement of Peter's castle. Possibly only before possible only before draining the moat. Then walks through the side door or to die or dire docks, the camera will exhibit abnormal behavior and clip through Mario's face when he walks through the door. Oh, why is it a hollow? Boo. God damn, that scared the crap out of me. Well, that's enough to have a link for today. Three days late, but hey, we got to have some Mario voice acting. Happy Mario Day three days ago, Mario. And anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!